So the plan was they were gonna hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Packy. Yeah, fuck you. Calculating route. Oh my God. You have arrived. Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. Calculating route. In 100 yards. Turn. A mafia controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A bad cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell none of those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos are a type of cheese. Pegorinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. From a creative man in the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. What great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary's story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a cookie is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader, my ass. You just worried he'll stop clamping down on you. Ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. Oh, shit! All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Nico, stick fucking close to me. Let's go inside and find this money. I can take him, I know it. Hey, Packy! 
boat? You got to this fine country in a boat, didn't you, Nico? That don't mean I can drive one. Fuck it, though. I'll give it a try. That was fucking beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the Angelotis don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. Now don't fucking worry about it. Now this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays. It ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, just shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I tell you though. One of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my Katie. I'll think about the money then. What a trooper. Fucking hell! We did it. Top 